Uh, we moved to you here um, about 12 years ago. Um, my wife's Canadian. I met her um, back in the 80s, 90s when I was out playing for St Albert uh, in Edmonton. Um, played there for two seasons and then met my wife. She came back with me. Uh, we lived in Scotland for 16 years while I I applied my um, professional rugby career. Well, I, I got my first um, in, my, my first professional um, contract when I was 23-24 with Glasgow Warriors at the time. It was a part-time contract for the first year and then it went full-time. So I was full-time uh, for nine years with Glasgow Warriors and then I left Glasgow Warriors and went to Bordeaux Begley. I uh, played with them for a year and then um, I left there and went to Munster and finished my professional career off uh, two seasons at Munster and that, I finished that off in 2005. Yes. Um, my last professional game for, for the International Scotland team was the 2003 World Cup. The, 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 the club rugby scene is a um, very similar setup. Uh, there's maybe there's more players, so you get better depth uh, in, in the players and uh, the clubs in Scotland. Um, there's more clubs, you know, in close proximity. But um, there's, the, the, the guys are just as keen. Uh, the calibre is actually just as good, believe it or not. It's, you know, there's some of the first division sides. There's a, you know, the, the calibre is slightly better, but all in all. I mean, there's lots of good rugby players out in Canada here. Yeah, I've, I've been, I've actually been out to help the, the Hornets a couple of times. Um, mostly just with the front row, scrummage and stuff, line out stuff, forward stuff. Um, I've been to a couple of the high schools, helping a couple of the high schools as well. Uh, Ladysmith High School and uh, Cedar High School. So, coming out here, there's lots of young guys, um, the depth isn't really there as much, you know, they've, they've lost uh, a little bit of experience. So, but the young guys that are here, they're, they're big strong guys, they maybe haven't had as much experience in school rugby. And we get it from when 11, well I started when I was 11 in high school, lots of people start younger than that in schools. Um, so it's just really showing these guys the ins and outs of the game, how to play it safe, um, how to play it fair, but you know, be a Big, strong player. Um, yeah, I, I, I play both sides. I, I prefer tight head. Um, loose head, you do get around the pitch a bit more. Uh, but I, I like the challenge at tight head. You know, I, always, I feel it's a little bit more challenged. Um, playing both sides is a good thing. Uh, it could be a bad thing as well. Um, some, at some points in my career, I found myself in the bench because I could go on and play both sides. But um, you know, it's one of these things that if, if you can if you can play prop, play it well, both sides or one side, the world's your oyster. You can go wherever you want, you know, and play some good rugby. Um, they've changed the rule. They changed the rules with scrummaging so much. Uh, I, but I, what I, I do see is it's, it's just getting that contact. Now, when I was playing, it used to be that gap, closing that first foot, well, started playing was the first two foot gap. And then it went down to a foot gap, getting there first. Now it's down to six inches, and you have to make that six inches first. You gotta be there fast, you gotta be there. And fitness as well. You know, it's all, okay being big and strong, but you gotta be able to last the game, and you gotta be fit to get around the park now. Because the game's faster. You know what? There is. There's lots of little stings. Um, I did. Sh I was out here. I am. Um, I was talking to some of the uh, some of the college kids as well at, at the university and in Nanaimo here, and I was showing them some bits and pieces. Because you don't get that big hit now, there's maybe some other there's some little technical stuff that you can do that will make your game that little bit easier and make that scrummaging a little bit easier as well. Um, you got a strong upper body, strong neck, strong arms now. You know. So yeah, there's, there's, I can't give away all my tips, but there is some that that I could pass on, I guess. <laughs>